Okay, yeah, we're back again with the Book of Better Sheep, Book of Genesis. At the end of chapter 1, it says, And Elohim saw that all that he had made, and see, Elohim saw that all that he had made, and see, it was very good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the sixth day, left the Shamayim, and the earth were completed, and their array. And on the seventh day, Elohim completed his work, which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And Elohim Barak the seventh day. Excuse me. And made it Kodesh. Because on it he rested from all his work, which Elohim in creating had made. These are the births of the Shamayim and the earth when they were created. And in that day Yahuwah Elohim made earth and Shamayim. Now no shrub was on the field. No shrub of the field was yet on the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprung up. For Yahuwah Elohim had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no man to till the ground, but a mist went up from the earth and watered the entire surface of the ground. And Yahuwah Elohim formed the man out of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils breath of life. And the man became a living being, and Yahuwah Elohim planted a garden in Eden to the east. And there he put the man whom he had formed and out of the ground. Yahuwah Elohim made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. With the tree of high in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to the water to water the garden. And from there it divided and became four river heads. The name of the first is Pishon. It is the one surrounding the entire island, I mean, the entire land of Hawaii, La, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. Bidilin is there, and the Shohan stone, and the name of the second river is Gihon. It is the one surrounding the entire land of Kush, and the name of the third river is Hiddik. Hidekel, it is the one which goes toward the east of Asher, and the fourth river is Pera. And Yahuwah Elohim took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to guard it. And Yahuwah Elohim commanded the man, saying, Eat of every tree of the garden, but do not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall certainly die. And Yahuwah Elohim said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I am going to make a helper for him as a counterpart. And from the ground, Yahuwah Elohim formed every beast of the field and every bird of the Shamayim and brought them to the man to see what he would call them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was his name. So the man gave names to all livestock and to the birds of the Shamayim and to every beast of the field. But for the man, there was not found a helper for him as his <coughs> counterpart. So Yahuwah caused a deep sleep to fall on the man, and he slept, and he took one of the ribs, one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh in his place. And the rib which Yahuwah Elohim had taken from the man, he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one is called woman because she was taken out of man for this cause. A man shall leave his father and mother and join unto his wife. And they shall become one flesh and they were both naked, the man and his wife, yet they were not ashamed. A hey, hallelujah for this. I hope that you have a great day, y'all. All love and harmony. Later, hey.